TS11 version 2 upgraded version with um, auxiliary um, switch they should have made the copper version instead of the TS10 not sure if it's just me or their build quality is getting better hey welcome back to your DC channel this is Jay even the box is upgraded they started using the this style of boxing for the premium metal version of the TS10 it's nice that they keep doing it one might argue that this is not necessary but it's still nice anyways okay magnet I was planning to compare this with my uh, G GT Mini Lumin Top um, in short tube, but I sold it the same day that I got this. Oh well, even though they're both takes 18 um, 350, the GT Mini is definitely bigger. It's probably due to a uh, reflector um, versus this TIR lens. I never once carried the GT Mini in my pocket, but this is still doable. Quite comfortably I should say. I do still have the GT Nano which has a more similar um, overall shape and uh, here is some uh, comparison with other Wilco's light in terms of size they are in um, short tube except for this there are others also before that use um, similar uh, TIR lens for their uh, thrower, mini thrower like the Mancur MC13, Acebeam E10, TrueNet Catapult Mini and the uh, Sovereign IF19 when compared to the sister company, I much much prefer this ship over to um, the Sovereign IF-19. It kinda looks a bit weird in my opinion. Plus what's special about this is the beautiful auxiliaries. I seem to remember there's, uh, there was another company that makes auxiliary with Tyra lens, but I can't remember who or which model now. And it makes a beautiful pattern. And in this upgraded version, they also added auxiliaries under the switch, which should be like this in the first place. And which uh, is also why I didn't get it at, at first. This is exactly like the FC13 button. So it's like a combination of the FC30 button and the TS25 RGB auxiliary. That's why I was excited to get this instead of those two. Personally, I still prefer the FC12 over FC13 and the TS21 over the newer TS25. This is rated for 600 plus uh, meters uh, throw. Not crazy far, but uh, already quite amazing for its size and more than enough for me with a uh, crazy low moonlight mode this is um, off with auxiliary high and this is on in moonlight USB type-c built-in charging with interesting curved rubber uh, sealant wish it has a stainless steel bezel instead like this um, TS21 and a warm and a warm or neutral white option it's only available in cool white well at least for now everything can be disassembled 
nothing is glued so I can unscrew the tail the head the bezel and the tiara optic can be removed and there's another um, lens outside to protect the tiara optic which is good take spring and that's the board the good thing about Urkos and Sovereign is that most of their tubes have the same thread meaning that they can be Lego there you go I already plan on doing this ever since I saw the purple auxiliary oh it works with the long tips as well but I always prefer sh um, shorter tubes anyways just like the long tube for this GT Nano I think they messed up the overall design and shape this probably gonna be a short video there's not much else to talk about it's using I believe the latest Enduro firmware <coughs> and I won't go over the UI since I think most people are already familiar with it by now I was planning to compare it with the GT Mini since I don't have it anymore I'll try to compare it with this uh, GT Nano instead with uh, 306 meters uh, throw rated and uh, FC12 with a 345 meters uh, throw rated so it should be able to beat them easily this FC12 is also considered a thrower but with a small head like this it won't throw as far as a dedicated thrower unless it's an LEP like this uh, Ant-Man with a 680 meters throw rated for a more um, even comparison so let's just see the performance outside okay guys we're gonna try the um, TS11 I'm gonna ramp it up, ramp it up. Here we go can you see it? Yeah. now let's compare it with the FC I mean FC12 so we're gonna ramp it up. To go. This is uh, more flat. This is this. TS11 FC12. TS11. Cannot really see. Uh, you can reach there, and the battery is low. I thought I charged it already. That's the thing with the tiny battery. For fun, let's compare it with LEP. FC12. I mean TS11. LEP. And TS11 LEP. Okay, stop. Yeah, can you try to walk over there? Where? Yeah, I'm gonna guide you. Bring it here. Let me record. Pass it to me. I'm gonna ask my trusty uh, assistant slash cameraman to uh, do the beam shot test there go there and come back here don't worry I'm not gonna be the dad to ask him to um, hold the flashlight just gonna do test beam shot 
Let's try here. Whoa. I can reach there. To the tower. Let's try LEP. Yeah, make the tower too. But definitely no spill at all. Okay, this one is a keeper. I like it. I think it's a good replacement for my um, GT Mini. For me especially the size and the fun auxiliaries. And then there's the price factor. Workhouse and Sovereign has been uh, disrupting the price market for uh, quality flashlight recently. It's uh, probably like Xiaomi with the gadget industry. I do hope to see the premium metal version of this in the future, either in copper on, or titanium. That's all for now. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Don't forget to like and sub if you haven't done so. Bye now. And here's what the long tube looks like. The one for FC13 looks nice with uh, this. Okay.